to see um, on a very hot day how my um, how my equipment and my cooling is gonna is gonna do today without any power from the grid. So what I'll do is um, I'm actually plugged in to the to the grid, but what I'll do is uh, I want to show you something outside anyway, and uh, we'll just disconnect and then reconnect. The first thing I want to do is to go ahead and. Uh, measure the temperature okay. it's hot the outside of that thing is pretty hot 115 116 right oh 119 all right and then I am plugged in and how I know that it's on is the little light. So I'm plugged into 30 amps right there. And I'll just, okay, I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll just go ahead and shut this off. Okay. And no more power. Go back inside. First thing you'll notice. So the AC is still running. Okay. And we're pulling from the solar generator two kilowatt hour, two kilowatts, which is two thousand watts. The battery was already full, so you know if we, even if we watch this, we'll watch the battery take a little bit of power see wait a little bit longer just a couple seconds really yeah see so it's counting down we're pulling in from the solar panels on the top I have four panels four kilowatts so 400 watts bringing in and we're consuming 2,000 uh, or two consuming two consuming uh, 2000 and you know the system that I have set up is is working pretty well keeping the Sun off of the roof that's the most important part when you're when you're off the grid uh, let's do some temperature measurements in here so that back wall 102 uh, the ceiling, same temperature. I remember it was like 119 outside. I have a spot of bare roof back here. So inside it's definitely uh, significantly warmer. Um, uh, cooler. <laughs> There's my, my freezer. But I'm, I'm comfortable in here. So that side's the sun right there, and got 96 degrees. I have a fan blowing on me to circulate the air better, um, and I'm comfortable. So, like to me, it feels like it feels more like 80. It feels more like 80. It's a little warmer than my car um, right now with the sun beating down like that, but I'm pretty comfortable so to show you how I kind of have this you definitely want to cover up the um, the, 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 ho the vent hose that this comes with you want to insulate that for sure um, because it does you can feel a lot of heat coming off of it and then your air conditioner is just kind of fighting with that let me show you the temperature of coming straight out of there off of the coils that's what you get it's like 72 degrees exactly so that looks pretty accurate um, as far as the thermostat setting uh, without that it would be 
It would be pretty warm in here. I mean, it would be... It'd be about 100 degrees without that. As a backup, I do have an air cooler. Um, I don't have it on right now, so it's just, you know, the temperature of the room. Uh, that uses, in the desert, you can use its evaporative cooling. So it does, coming out of there, I'll get about 85 degrees. So it, it does cool me off cooler than the, uh, the environment. Um, and let's do one more. Let me show you. It's 110 right there. And that's, that's the side that's not the sun. So that vent, I should probably cover that vent if I'm smart. Um, maybe just turn the pillows against it. But, I mean, it feels comfortable in here. I'm not, I'm not uncomfortable. So I'm just circulating the air and, um, you know, this is a, this is an off grid situation. And so what I'll do is, so I don't forget. I'm going to turn, uh, I'm going to go back outside uh, and then turn the system back on so that I don't forget. And let's take a look at the battery real quick. Uh, battery level do we have? Yeah, in just a few minutes, you know, it's taken a little bit out of the system. I don't like to work the system that hard during the summer so uh, you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna work my system that hard I just don't like to do that so let's go outside and turn this on now when I turn this back on it will not automatically pick it back up so I'll just I'll have to set that manually inside just hit the circuit breaker we do have power again to the electric and uh, go back inside the trailer the AC input use Watch it beep until it likes what it's seeing. Bam, took it. No interruption in service. If service does interrupt, my, uh, you know, I won't, I won't have any problems with power. I can always hook up to my generator too. All right, we're good to go.